Hello there, my name is Lady Luck herself, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a peach wolf and snake pocket main now, yes, I did switch them around. <laughs> and I pretty much just make Smash Bros Ultimate content revolving around my mains, mostly Princess Peach, since she's my main squeeze. See what I did there? No? Okay. <laughs> anyway, so today's video is going to be Turnip Bread and Butters. Bread and Butters is a fighting game term which pretty much means like the basics of comboing for your character, how you get your bread and your butter. So more or less, I'm going to be showing you guys five combos that you can do. They're super easy. As always, I will have timestamps as well as featured players in this video and my social media all in the description down below. I'm also glad to announce, as you guys probably already know, Peach didn't suffer any major nerfs during the um, the newest patch, 3.00, so pretty much all the information in this video is accurate and up to date. Um, I think the only thing they did touch on her was... What is it? They made her not slow down when she uses Toad? I'm not even sure if she cares about that. Like, that doesn't seem very... Who liked that? Like, and, and where was it a problem? Like, I just don't understand. Maybe her, her stalling was too hard. You know what? That's probably what it was. It was probably someone was testing Peach against Joker, and when he got um, Arsene or Arsene, she would just like float and then use Toad to stall him out, and then Nintendo said that was a problem. That's definitely how that happened. Anyway, and I'll leave any other crazy theories and things I have for the end of the video. Let's get- <laughs> Without further ado, let's get started. Peach's turnips are one of the most deadly and versatile projectiles in the game. For a short recap, Peach can act 37 frames after pulling a turnip, and they can deal as little as 13 damage to a whole death. But even one turnip can deal substantial damage if you know your combos. In this video, I'll demonstrate 5 bread and butters, or combos, to level up your turnip game. If you want more information about different turnips and general uses for them, please check out my previous turnip video. I'll link this in the description as well, and feel free to drop a like or subscribe if you want more Paisy content in the future. Before we begin, I'd also like to say that as of update 3, there is no longer a difference between Peach and Daisy's turnips. I'll be using Peach throughout this video, but any combo she can perform, Daisy is able to as well. With that out the way, let's get started. Our first combo will be very basic. Turn up into dash attack or grab. This combo is amazing for whiff punishing, and if you opt for the grab option, you can easily down throw and back air for additional percent. To perform this, hit your opponent with a turn up and immediately dash attack or grab them while they're in hit stun. Whether you dash attack or grab is entirely up to you, but there are benefits to both. In my opinion, there are two reasons why you should go for grab. The first is to keep your dash attack fresh for killing. The second is if your opponent starts to realize that you're always going for grab and begins to spot dodge, then you can change the dash attack, as the second hit will land without fail. This is called conditioning, a concept we may touch on in a later video. But for now, let's move on to our second bread and butter. Our next combo is turn up into short hop nair. To perform this, short hop towards your opponent and throw your turn up. Once it hits, immediately input a nair. Doing so will allow Peach to re-grab the turn up as she knocks her opponent safely away. I consider this a very safe approach, as unless if the opponent rolls back, it's hard to not be in the way for the following nair, and Peach can easily cross up her opponent while performing this. You can chain multiple of these into one another to great effect and solid damage. Alternatively, you can use a Z-drop and catch the turnip with Nair very quickly after it hits. It's a bold move, and it grants more damage, but it's certainly less safe as it leaves Peach rather stationary. Our next combo is turnip into down tilt. This combo requires slightly more commitment and strict positioning compared to the combos before, but the payoff is more than worth it. To begin, you'll need to position beside your opponent and throw your turn up. After you hit, immediately down tilt to start your combo. From down tilt, you can get a grab for a staple down throw to back air or nair, or you can go into nair to extend the combo. If you would like to see examples of how to extend down tilt combos, please check out my Peach Bread and Butters video where I cover down tilt extensively. Our next combo is turn up into fair. 
and being the fairest peach of them all. This is one of my favorites. Start your combo by taking to the air and throwing your turn up. When it hits, input a fair right after and bam, 30 damage. This combo works for a very long time, and in some cases, it can even net a kill at higher percents. Since this is a combo performed almost entirely in the air, you can use it offstage to net an early kill as well. You can also short hop this combo for stuffing opposing aerials, or to hit shorter characters. Even in the case that the opponent has a reflector, if you perfectly time your fair for when the turnip hits, she'll catch the turnip and smack her opponent away. How unfair! For our final combo, I'm going to cover turnip throw into turnip throw. To begin, there are loads of turnip combos that Peach can begin by throwing a turnip, re-grabbing it while our opponent is his head stun, and throwing the turnip again. Since they're very expansive, I will explain how to do the hardest part, the turnip into re-grab turnip, and show a couple variations you can go into using just this. Sweet. To start, throw your turnip in a short hop. Once the turnip hits, wait for Peach to return to her falling animation, and then press Z to re-grab the turnip. Afterwards, use the C-stick to throw your turnip again. If all goes well, it'll look something like this. If you find yourself doing a dare or another aerial, you aren't waiting for Peach to go into neutral, and thus buffering an aerial attack. Take it slow. Peach has a lot more time to perform this than you'd think. If you find yourself landing on the ground before you throw your turnip a second time, you're most likely throwing the first turnip a little too late. To fix this, I recommend throwing the turnip similarly to how you perform a rising short hop aerial, by pressing jump and turnip throw within 3 frames of one another. Finally, I'll share the inputs for this combo on the screen, and I'll display it 3 times of increasing speed. This was the simplest combo I could manage to make, and I hope if you practice it, it serves you well. And there you have it, 5 turnip bread and butters. Here, I'll place a few clips from my Twitch channel demonstrating various combos I've been able to pull off using turnips. Feel free to drop by sometime and play with me. Remember guys, practice makes perfect, and enjoy. Okay. Okay, that's too bad. Let's try again. Okay. <laughs> Why smash? I was That's good damage. Oh, that was a really good stock for me. Nice. Hey, welcome back! Thank you so much for watching, I hope that you found something in the video useful, and if you did, please don't be afraid to like, comment, subscribe, and share with any of your friends or aspiring peach mains that you may know. As always, my social media information, including my Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram, can all be found in the description below, as well as players featured within this video. I will officially be dropping Solid Snake. Unfortunately, I just don't have the time to play Peach and then also play Snake. They're both very big, intense, expansive characters who can be played in so many different ways. So I've set him to the side for something that's a lot easier. Wolf. So um, there may actually be uh, wolf content in this channel pretty soon here because I have a very good idea of what Wolf wants to do and how to do it. As far as the next video that we will have, I'm thinking about doing a Peach or Daisy alt tier list. 
as I've already uh, played around with that on my Twitter. I think I'll make a video for it too. We'll probably do the Daisy one first just because there's not much Daisy content on this channel as you guys may notice. So I do want to rep a little bit of Daisy for the Daisy mains um, over here. In fact, if you are a Daisy main, can you please tell me what is your favorite and your least favorite alt costume for Daisy? Consider also the original, just all of them. I'm really curious as to what colors you guys gravitate towards. I saved this for the end of the video because I figured anyone who was really passionate about it would be here. I was recently monetized and thank you guys so much. I am so grateful to be able to express myself like this and to help others learn and play a game that I love and have always loved since I was young. And I've decided um, I just wanted to have a way to give back for those who really do push me and expand this community and things of that nature. You're all so sweet and I really do appreciate it. I'm actually going to be opening up a Patreon. If you would like to assist me in making these videos and get some unique rewards, please check it out and consider becoming a Patreon. As far as different rewards that you can receive from the Patreon, it can be anything from being in a special Discord to having your own unique tag, shoutouts at the end of my video, and actually I'm even considering doing lessons on my Patreon as I've been asked many a times to personally work with people on their PH and I'd happily do that. I'd happily do that. I guess just thank you guys so much. I can't believe that there are people out there who are rooting for me to do this and it feels amazing. And I just wanted to find a way to really turn that support into something tangible. And that is what I hope to achieve with my Patreon page. Thank you so much and I will always do my best. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, may the RNG be in your favor. Take it easy guys.